The common denominator is a piece for young band created by composer Robert Sheldon for elementary band students in the Parkland School District. The piece was created with a 2012 Celebrate Innovation Grant from the Parkland Education Foundation and was commissioned by the Parkland School District Elementary Band Directors. In this video, I'd like to explain the impact made by this unique new composition for young band. The common denominator, like all music, is organized in small, like-sized sections called measures. Measures are like containers that can hold a predetermined number of beats of music. For the common denominator, each measure can hold four beats. Therefore, notes that are held by the player for four beats are appropriately called whole notes, since they last for the whole measure. Other notes are held by the player for two beats. Since these only last for half the measure, they are called half notes. Still, other notes are held for just one beat. Since these shorter notes only take up one quarter of the measure, they are called quarter notes. In the opening of the piece, composer Robert Sheldon presents these note values in close proximity, so their relationship is made obvious. The quarter note is presented as a steady pulse in the bass drum and low brass and woodwinds. The half notes that follow in these same instruments will be twice as long as the quarters. The whole notes that sound above these instruments in the upper woodwinds and brass must be synchronized to that same pulse note. Even in the opening measures of the common denominator, there are so many opportunities for teaching and reinforcing fractions. For instance, measures can be compared to other containers, such as a glass of liquid. Or a tasty pie. The addition of various fractions can be demonstrated musically using the principle of common denominator. A half note is two quarters, therefore a half note plus a quarter is three quarters. The time signature which appears at the start of every piece of music can be explained fractionally. The top number, the numerator, is the number of beats in a measure. The bottom number, the denominator, is the note value which equals one beat. One thing I really like about this piece is the way Sheldon composes material that is both musically interesting and great for presenting and reinforcing various aspects of fractions. One example is in measure 29 through 33, where the rhythmic durations decrease by half from whole notes to half notes to quarter notes. All the while, the quick dynamic or volume shifts give the music dramatic interest. After a time, a new rhythm value, which is only held for a half a beat, is introduced. This shortest note is called an eighth note, since it takes eight of them to fill a four-beat measure. My favorite musical moment in the piece is at measure 45, where all the rhythms presented work together in an exciting tapestry of sound. Besides the goal of reinforcing fourth graders' understanding of fractions, commissioning this piece meant that our students got to be part of the process of bringing to life a new musical work, written especially for them by a living composer. Composer Robert Sheldon is one of the most performed band composers living today. Although he lives near Chicago and maintains an active schedule composing, conducting, and serving as concert band editor for Alfred Publications, he took the time to record a video greeting to introduce his piece to Parkland audiences. Hello, I'm Robert Sheldon, and I'm the composer of the piece that's going to be played for the very first time at your concert, The Common Denominator. And I'd like to thank the students and the teachers, faculty administration, and the parents of these students for inviting me to write this piece, which as you know is a method of combining teaching of fractions with music. We hope that you enjoy the piece, I wish the students the very best of luck on this first performance ever of the Common Denominator. Have a great time at the concert, and thank you so much for inviting me to be a part of the production. In this way, 
all of our students got to meet the composer. Although music education holds many vital and varied benefits for students other than augmenting their understanding of math concepts, there's no denying that it does indeed do just that. Perhaps that's why so many of our district's best musicians follow paths that lead them to careers in math, science, and engineering. The Common Denominator was premiered by the fourth grade bands in elementary buildings across the Parkland School District in the spring of 2013. It has since been published as part of Alfred's Sound Innovations Concert Band Music Series. On behalf of all the district's elementary band instructors, I'd like to thank the Parkland School District and the Parkland Education Foundation for supporting this unique project through its Celebrate Innovation grant program. Thank you.